The 1950s, a decade that changed music forever with the explosive birth of rock and roll. Rebellious vocals combined to create a sound that shook the very foundations of popular culture. And the opening track of an album took on a whole new meaning, it was a declaration, a rallying cry that set the stage for the musical revolution to come. In this video, we're counting down the top 10 opening tracks from 1950 Seconds Rock albums, the songs that kicked things off with a bang and captured the spirit of a generation hungry for change. From the unmistakable rhythms of Chuck Berry to the groundbreaking sound of Little Richard and the electrifying groove of Ray Charles, these are the tracks that defined an era. Get ready to rock! Coming in at number 10 is Shake, Rattle and Roll by Bill Haley and his comments. Released in 1954, Haley's version transformed the Jump Blues original into an electrifying rock anthem. With its swinging beat, raucous saxophone, and Haley's lively vocals, the song became a nationwide sensation and introduced rock and roll to mainstream audiences. At number 9 is Chuck Berry's School Days from his 1957 debut album After School Session. Berry's witty storytelling, dazzling guitar work, and backbeat groove paint a vivid portrait of teenage life while delivering an irresistible rock and roll sound. It's a defining track that shows why Barry is hailed as one of the architects of rock. The number 8 spot belongs to the Crickets' Oh Boy, off their 1957 album The Chirping Crickets. With Buddy Holly's hiccuping vocals and ebullient delivery, this carefree declaration of young love captures the innocent charm of early rock and roll. The tight musical interplay shows off the band's immense talent. Coming in at number 7 is Sweet Little Sixteen, the opening salvo from Chuck Berry's 1958 album One Dozen Berries. This rollicking ode to rock and roll's biggest fans became an anthem for a generation of teens. Berry's clever lyrics and stinging guitar showcase his unparalleled skills as a musical poet. At number 6 is Fats Domino's Blueberry Hill from his 1956 album This Is Fats Domino. Domino's New Orleans piano, easy vocal charm, and the band's laid-back groove transformed the 1940s standard into a crossover smash. It's a shining example of Domino's talent for blending musical styles. The number five position goes to Bo Diddley's self-titled track from his 1958 debut album. With its groundbreaking Bo Diddley beat, this song laid the rhythmic foundation for decades of rock to come. Diddley's tremolo-drenched guitar and hypnotic chanting make this an innovative, unforgettable track. At number 4 is Buddy Holly's I'm Gonna Love You Too from his 1958 self-titled LP. While not as well known as some of his hits, this boy track is a fan favorite that shows off Holly's warmth, sincerity, and gift for melody. It's a perfect encapsulation of his appealing rock and roll style. Claiming the number three spot is Ray Charles' What I Say, an earth-shaking 1959 single later released on his album of the same name. Recorded live in the studio, this gospel-infused track features blazing call-and-response vocals and searing instrumental solos. It's a soul-stirring, groundbreaking performance from the one and only genius. Coming in at number two is Little Richard's explosive Tutti Frutti from his 1957 debut. Here's Little Richard. With its pounding piano, wailing vocals, and frenetic energy, this song is a jolt of pure, unfiltered rock and roll. Richard's wild, flamboyant style and saucy lyrics make this an unforgettable track that still electrifies to this day. And topping our list at number one is none other than Elvis Presley's Blue Suede Shoes. As the opening track of his 1956 self-titled debut, Presley's dynamic version of the Carl Perkins rockabilly tune kicked off a legendary album and career. Bursting with swagger, sex appeal, and rocking fervor, Elvis's commanding vocals and the band's propulsive playing make this the defining song of the early rock and roll era. The influence of these pioneering artists and their groundbreaking songs can still be felt today. They laid the foundation for generations of musicians to come and change the course of popular music forever. These are the tracks that started it all. The songs that defined a decade and birthed a musical revolution. Rock on! So what's your favorite opening track from a 1950 seconds rock album? Let us know in the comments below and keep the conversation going!
If you enjoyed this trip down musical memory lane, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more deep dives into music history.